What is life? Well, the Lord says, I am the life, the truth, and the way. So if he is the life, well, that must have some logical meaning about what life is. Okay, well, what gives life to animate an object and give it thinking abilities, the ability to move, eat, all that kind of thing? Well, it's electricity, isn't it? Now, a lot of people will sit there and say that it's not. Well, your heart will keep beating with a dead brain, but your brain will die without a beating heart. So that shows that the heart is more important than the brain. You might disagree with this, that's fine, but what I've said is correct. The heart can be kept beating without a brain, but the brain cannot be kept alive without a beating heart. So, what is life? Well, life is energy. Electricity and electromagnetism. That's what your heart does. It generates, generates an electromagnetic field which creates your body and moves blood um, by using electricity through matter. I've said electricity through matter creates electromagnetism and electromagnetism through matter creates electricity which is easily perceived with a magnet and a wire and electricity coming out of one end when you turn the magnet or you put electricity into the other end of the wire and it turns the magnet. So electricity through matter creates electromagnetism and electromagnetism through matter creates electricity. God says life is in the blood. That means the energy is in the blood. And so because the heart gives out an electromagnetic impulse, whatever's in the blood must be electric because when it reaches the heart, the electricity goes through the matter of the chamber walls and creates an electromagnetic heartbeat, which is what is be beating your heart. Blood goes in, heart beats. Some people think it's the brain that's keeping your heart beating. I say no, because when you have a heart attack, how do you get the body breathing again and the heart beating again? You do not apply electricity to the brain because the brain really isn't anything to do with the heart except to regulate. Um, you apply electricity to the heart to get it beating so that blood moves through it and so energy starts beating the heart. And then you take the electricity away. So the electrical probes that are put to your body to stop that heart attack and start your heart beating are electrical. Electricity through matter creates electromagnetism and so the heart begins beating. And so in the blood is the life, says the Lord. And so the blood is full of electricity, which once it goes into the heart, creates an electromagnetic or a borous field, which beats inside one chamber through the heart wall into the next chamber. Because one chamber is electromagnetic, then the electricity goes through the heart wall into the second chamber and becomes an electromagnetic pulse again. And so you get your heartbeat. And so, I am the life, said God, said Jesus, said the Christ. I am the life. So what is life? Life is electricity and electromagnetism. So what does that make Jesus? What does that make God to be? It means God is an energy being. He is life. He is an electrical, electromagnetic energy being. That is the logical answer to what is life. Life is electric. You're electric, plants are electric, everything is electric. And so understand them. when Jesus says, I am the life, he is the electricity, he is the electromagnetism, because the God that everybody likes to make out is some sort of ghosty, wispy, will-o'-the-wisp, shadow, phantom, invisible, ghosty spirit, there's nothing of the sort of those explanations. That's a description. The explanation of what God is, is he is energy, pure energy. And energy never changes. Energy is in all things. Energy is information and information is energy. There is no getting away from it. Energy is the life, the truth, and the way. So please turn to Jesus. The end is coming. And so is God. Thanks very much. My name is Lee. I follow the Christ. And I tell you all the things that he tells me. Turn to God and be saved. Thanks very much. Bye.